Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Thursday, April 11th. After the ECB, I guess non-event-ish is the best way to describe it. Here we have our uh, Eurien chart. We were on the Eurien bear uh, side yesterday. It was looking pretty solid. Um, now it's looking much less solid. Obviously, if this thing uh, gets through these highs here through 60, you have to kill any Euro Yen uh, shorts. Just kind of frustrated here. Thought we were um, thought we were onto something with a very sort of bearish sounding ECB. Boons were through the roof. Um, equities had bearish and golf the day before. It seemed a good enough story to uh, at least put on a medium-sized uh, position, but here we are, pretty much jammed. Um, we'll see what happens with the Eurien. Obviously, uh, in the technical world, perfect doji, um, so that's indecision. If you're just purely a technician, you get bearish through 80 you get bullish through 43. We will see in Euro Yen. Crude, no follow through, sitting up here uh, near the highs, 64 and a quarter. Not much to do here. Um, no positions here, just watching this now uh, as a bellwether on risk, as a bellwether um, for basically NASDAQ and, the, and um, s and P. When this does turn and collapses, which we actually think it's going to do eventually, this will give us a signal to smash, um, smash risk. S&Ps, bearish engulfed, pretty bullish day yesterday, printed that 2900 high, 2900 is a ceiling just on fundamentals you know we talked about it forward earnings uh, 16 and a half PE at 182 let's say um, so there will be some congestion up here point is no fall through did not make a new low after the bearish engulf um, so lukewarm tentative shorts selling high ones today we'll be selling between sort of 08 and 12 so we do expect this to get through the figure uh, we'll sell high ones on just a tactical day trade um, the story is not here to put the hammer down elsewhere I want to pull this dollar Swiss up because this is kind of sneaky bid um, catching people a little bit of sleep here Euro Swiss has turned and gone up quite a bit. Euro dollar's not really doing much. But this dollar Swiss has turned. I only say it because 101.25 or whatever is uh, going to be a, a very highly watched point. Um, people forget, I think, that uh, rates in Switzerland are close to minus 1%. The natural, uh, the natural move for this, just on a carry basis. So you have this currency, which is low vol and a safe haven. Um, but the natural movement of this, unless there's some sort of massive event, which easily could happen, but um, is higher. And we don't have much success trading dollar Swiss, uh, which is kind of funny since I'm an American living in Switzerland for 20 years. Uh, but I just want to mention 101, 101 and a quarter. This will attract huge interest from the fund community. Um, this could coincide with DXY through 9770, uh, which I think eventually has to happen. Just something to watch. Not for today, obviously. Uh, there's no way Dollar Swiss is going to go 100 points today. Uh, but something to keep in mind. Take a look at Boons. 
pretty powerful day yesterday. It would have been nice if we had closed above 66, um, 166. We got up to the figure. Now we're back at 80. This 166 number is just kind of like, you know, I mean, it's mispriced in a sense. Let's see how negative the yield is. Uh, minus three basis points. Anything negative is, is, is the wrong price for boons, but it gets really sort of silly negative uh, above 166, and then you're, also, then you're just kind of getting a sniff at this, like, very silly minus eight basis points. Is this going to go to minus 20, um, which were the lows? Let's pull up the weeklies. Which were the lows in 2016, June 2016? I don't know, uh, but again, we're just using it as a bellwether to trade Euro Yen, and so keep an eye on Boons, 165.80 at the moment. What else is out there? Aussie, it's bid. We cut our shorts. Kiwi also frustratingly just cut. Um, kind of throwing my hands in the air here. Uh, Guns down, as we say. Where's my Kiwi chart? I mean, Kiwi, this is the weeklies. You could argue Kiwi's a sell, and you could sell this all the way up to sort of 68.40. Um, but we just got tired. We just got tired of it. And as soon as the P&L uh, went flat yesterday, we just got fed up and started cutting shit. <laughs> So, I don't know. Um, we got PPI today, which really no one gives a shit about in the U.S. Uh, we do have French CPI and German, C um, and German CPI. French is in uh, 40 minutes. I mean, sorry, German CPI is in 40 minutes. French CPI is in an hour and a half. You got to watch these. You got to watch Boons. This may affect uh, Euro Yen. Draghi was talking about how he won't tolerate a weak, uh, weak inflation. But really, uh, guns are guns are down here. We're back in wait and patience mode. Not a lot to say. Not a lot to add. Not a lot of targets out there to shoot at. So patience, 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 patience again. So we wait and wait and wait. And we're looking for that event which shakes things up and knocks things loose. That's really all I got today. I wish you all good luck and much money. Ciao.